Hello everyone, today we're going to do this problem from homework set 3. So as you can see this current source uh, is connected to a network of resistor and inductor and capacitor and there's a switch right here. Uh, the function of this switch is so that when the switch turns off at t equal to 0, this current source actually starts injecting the current into the circuit and right before the switch all the current is actually looping around right here because before the switch this voltage across the switch obviously is zero and that means that there is no voltage connected to the circuit and therefore uh, the voltage of the capacitor and the current of the inductor are zero so based on this realization we can immediately write uh, our conclusion out here that uh, v c zero minus right before the switch is actually equal to zero and i l zero minus is also equal to zero okay let's uh, start the uh, analyzing by like always labeling the circuit i'm actually going to use color of the labeling so this is one node this is the second node and finally this is the third node so i'm going to assume that this is my ground with a voltage zero and these two voltages are actually given in the uh, question these uh, voltages are the potential differences and once we assume that the bottom is zero the top uh, automatically uh, becomes v1t for this case and v2t for the other so now uh, i'm going to start labeling currents obviously this current is igt i don't have to do anything about this uh, this current i'm going to call that i c T and call the current passing through the inductor I L T and once I do that right in KCL for that node obviously the current passing through the resistor is also same I L T if you're not comfortable doing that you can call this a different current and then write KCL for this node V2 and get to the same uh, conclusion that these two currents are actually equal to, to each other so now that we are done labeling the circuit we're going to move on to writing the equations we start by kcl there's actually one kcl for that node that we haven't written so that's where we start kcl so igt is actually going into that node and ICT is leaving the node as and ILT leaving the node too. So that would be our KCL. Now we, we're going to move on to equations for components. Equations for components. And there are uh, one two three four components the equation for this one is already right here the equation for the current source is that the current passing through the current source is equal to what's given um, now there's only three components left to write equations for for the uh, capacitor the current passing through the capacitor ICT is equal to the capacitance derivative of the diff potential difference across it which would be in this case dv1t dt for the inductor il t and v2t have this relationship so the voltage across the inductor which is v2t minus zero in this case is equal to the inductance times the derivative of the current of the inductor and uh, finally for the resistor 
the current passing through resistor in this case is ILT and that's equal to V1T minus V2T divided by the resistance. Now, once we uh, reach this point, uh, we are done writing equations. This set of equations uh, include everything to be new, known about the circuit. Okay, at this point, we're going to use what we have learned about Laplace transform uh, to implement the math component of our algorithm. So if you recall from uh, what we discussed, the uh, Laplace transform of uh, derivative of a function is equal to s times Laplace transform of the function minus the initial value. So we're going to do that, use that equation and do Laplace transform actually on all these equations directly. So this would be IGS is equal to ICS plus ILS. From this equation we're going to get ICS is equal to, now we're going to use this and we notice that uh, v10 is the same as vc0 so this is the same as v10 and therefore the second component of this equation uh, does not show up here so we're going to have csv1s simply and actually the same here so v2s is equal to now again the initial value of the current il0 is 0 so the second component of this equation uh, is 0 that would be l s i l s and finally i l s is equal to v1 s minus the 2 s divided by r so from this new set of equations we can see that it's just a simple linear set of equations and it should be much easier to solve so from the two last ones i'm going to equate i l s so i l s from the second equation would be v 2 s the, the, from this equation, sorry, from the third equation would be V2S divided by LS and that's equal to V1S minus V2S divided by R. This is the fourth equation. So from that I can manipulate and get V1S as a function of V2S. So V1S minus V2S is equal to R over LS V2 this is V2S and from that we have V1S is equal to 1 plus R over LS V2 Okay, with that we can uh, now rewrite uh, the, the current equation right here as a function of V2S using this equation that we just developed. So ICS is equal to CS times 1 plus R over LS v2s and therefore now I can write this first equation all as a function of v2s so i g s is equal to i c s now I have this equation for i c s so c s times 1 plus r 
over L S V two S plus now I L S is simply V two S divided by L S so V two S divided by L S and this we can simply calculate V2S as such. It's equal to I G S the whole thing divided by C S one plus R L S plus one over L S now I can multiply both top and the bottom by L S so that would be I G S L S divided by first term would be L C S 2 plus second term would be R C S and finally 1 This uh, concludes our calculation. And thank you.